What's up, guys? This is a big dude CRF 250L review. This is my buddy's bike. I got a Grom right now. I've had a KLX 450, YZF 426, GS 500F, V Strom DL 1000. Uh, I've, had, I've had a bunch of fucking bikes. So right now I'm just whipping the Grom around. And my buddy was like, let's switch for a week. You try out my 250L, I'll try out the Grom. So I was like, all right. So I've been looking at getting one of these bikes for a while. Well, going by what I see on YouTube, everybody's like, oh, the suspension shit. It ain't no good. One well, big dude, 300 pounds. The suspension seems all right to me. I mean, it's not a motocross bike, and I'm not going to take it, you know, motocross riding, mainly just getting out to places like this. So, I mean, would I upgrade the suspension? Probably. But I don't think the motor's got enough power to outdo the suspension. I mean, I might add, you know, a different rear shock, something to it. You know, if I had saddlebags, you know, maybe a roto packs on the back, something like that. But it hauls me, the, the fastest I can get the bike is uh, 64, 63 miles an hour or something like that. Don't quote me directly, but this one's ABS model too. I like the ABS pretty good. I didn't think I'd like it on a bike, but man, coming down some of these gravel roads and hitting the corners, I'm really digging it. He's got the FMF pipe on it. This bike, you know, it sounds pretty dang good. Really like it. So, I mean, being a big dude, on the 250L, would I get one? Fuck yeah, I'll probably have one in a week or two. Gonna check out between the 250L, just the regular one, and the, and the rally. I gotta do a little bit more research on the two. But, uh, I'll we'll probably be going with the 250L. Just a regular one like this one. Digging the bike, man. It handles good. I've had it in some turns. like it pretty good. Uh, the tires, everybody say they suck. Yeah, they're not great. Still feels all right. But, then again, I'm not some pro rider that's going to be, you know, molesting this thing on dirt all the time. I absolutely hate the metal tanks on these bikes. Uh, got the button for the ABS to turn it off. I'm digging that. Looks like the same cluster as the Grom. Switches look the same. There's my helmet and GoPro set up. I'm digging that right there's some storage in there. Not much, but you can keep your tool kit and stuff right in there. So I'm liking that. Uh, this is the tire wear. This bike has about 3,600 miles on it. And you can tell it's uh, needing a back, new back tire for sure. The way it's looking, probably get two back tires to one front tire maybe. But yeah, if you're a big dude and you're thinking about getting one of these 250Ls and worry about the suspension, I mean, unless you really know how to ride or something, I'm about betting you won't know the difference. So that, that's a, two riding trips on this bike. About, I've got, I've got less than five hours on this bike. And uh, right now I'm saying yes, I'm gonna have one shortly. I've uh, rode it, I like it. I understand that maintenance and stuff is pretty pretty simple on it. You got pretty good maintenance intervals. Uh, it's not the peppiest bike I've owned, but I'm not wanting it for that. I want it for a commuter, get out places like this. I'm down a, turned off that railroad cross on that gravel road and come down through, but. That's what this bike's for. Get you out of town, get you shit like this. So that is the 250L. If you have any questions or anything, hit me up. If I can't answer them, I'll have the owner of the bike answer them. Thanks. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever.